First one that ever came out. Well, third game because the other two Metal Gear are called Metal Gear, not Metal Gear Solid. Because Solid came out, the, the word Solid came out in the year I was born. Oh, but, so that's something. And and you talk with the, the original game called Metal Gear, the first Metal Gear games in nineteen in the late nineteen eighties. I can see. Yeah, the first one called Metal Gear, second called Metal Gear 2, Song of Snake, and then until 1998, they, Kozuri, uh, I forgot the creator name, Kozuri, you know, he, he put the name called Metal Gear Song, and that's where the name is the past of the year of called Metal Gear Song 2. Metal Gear Solid 2, Son of Liberty, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, and Metal Gear Solid 4, The Gun of the Patriot, and and more game came out, Metal Gear Solid, Peace Walker, Portable Op, and The Panther Pain, Ground Zero, and then the the final game called Metal Gear Revenge. I can see. Yeah, so why not to play the beginning one? Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid the first. Like, yeah. bro, man, why the fuck did you call me cowgirl? I say easy, top cowgirl. What do you want me to spend? You want me to call you cowboy? Shut the fuck up. No, you can say just easy there, buddy. <laughs> I will probably call you, I say easy, top cowgirl. Yeah. Like, you go, you go crazy. Bitch, that's what people use in Texas. Well, you're acting like you're a real, you're acting like a real cowgirl, okay? You're, you're rushing, you say, anymore? I'm gonna kick your ass the next time we meet. Yeah, so, why not start the beginning? So, I give you a good, I give you a good game, start, start the beginning, uh, before we start talking about more, uh, in your, in your YouTube future. Yeah. Rolf? Yeah. I forgot what the you were talking about. Uh, Mission Ed Possible? Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, like I say... Rolf? You... You fight. Go on, buddy. I'm Fred. You idiot! Does this look like Double D? Hmm. Maybe come with that? Dah! Hey, Ralphie! You seen Double D? Oh, yeah, boy, I... I didn't see uh, a man from Silent Shepherd. Oh my god, now. Bye now. It's the rat! Get him, Ed! Run, you boy! Run, like a rat! Sweet! Cruise or lose? Hey, cruise or lose, that rhymes. <laughs> Um, I think I'm playing. I ha I think I told you what I'm playing next month. Uh, no GTA game. No, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Episode 2. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. Speaking of Sonic, any word about the new Sonic show? It's on Prime. They said later in the year a new season should be coming out. It's supposed to be like 24, 24 episodes, so far I only show 8. I don't know, man, yeah, hold on. And I also, I Transformers know. 2007. 2007? You know, the Bavers? I I'm surprised there's actually people still fans of that. Fan yeah, what? Transformers, you know when they brought it to the live uh, action? Yeah, I mean, I used to be a big fan of Transformer. <sighs> I actually out of it. Well, I kind of like it. I mean, I don't like the Bavers, but I like some of the characters, like Sideswipe, Mirage. Even though they appeared yeah, later on in the. I don't know if there was a late movie called that one of the Transformers that Ultra Prime became a villain. Or they say that Earth might be destroyed. I know what you're talking about, but I forgot what it was. God damn it! But you anyway, know, I always found robot, robot or a car dressing like a robot, it's creepy as hell. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I get it, I respect your opinions, whole nine yards. No, I mean, any robot, like, 
not just not just uh Transformers. Sometimes like I don't like you know to be honest, I don't Transformers not my first not my not the first robot that I don't like. I don't like Robocop. I gotta agree I with you. I, I I'm not a fan of Robocop. It's not my favorite. I don't even like the movie either. I didn't hear about that. I mean, what the hell? Is he, is he a cyborg or a robot? <laughs> That's my question, and I, I really don't like it. And one of my favorite actors was in that film, and then he didn't do the second one because of the, he said that in an interview there was poor writing. Yeah, I think that's why Robocop is not that popular. I would probably turn mayor over Robocop. Right on! I mean, I don't find creepy with Terminator. Terminator is just a... Uh, well, it's just an ex exoskeleton robot shaping with Adam as a man. Rainbow, Buck Dizzy Skin, they call it? I don't know what they call it. Let's just say you can call it a shell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but at least... The one day, the one day that, I, that I'm really glad I did not see is it's a lot real-life or organ. Not seeing that, or else you would have had a lost appetite, my friend. Yeah, you know, I just saw it one time during my during summertime that I see a view that that Robocop <laughs> have been taking apart and they see a lot of organ. And I see the one bleed in and bleed out shit like a fucking balloon. What the fuck? Yeah, and also not just that. I can't. T I we know they have a brain of it, but I did not know they'd be exposing it. They expose all their. Main organ. Dude, they did that on, you know, Terror of Mechagodzilla. I'm not even kidding. Because uh, Mecha... You know, every time I see a robot... Bitch, man. Human, you know, the one thing I hate about robot is if they have a lot of organ inside, inside their robot shell. It kind of goes to the, goes the fuck out of me. Yeah, they... I mean, give it... If they want to be a cyborg, they give them this half, this full human body, but a robot inside and a little organ on it. That okay, but come on, even 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 Robocop, not the first robot I see to have organ. They're General Grievous from from Star Wars. That that robot is a completely uh, sick and suck up in the mind. Yeah. At least Terminator is a different story. And and also uh go up Transformer, I would see at least that's different. It's it just a car transform into a, a robot warrior. Yeah, you know what? It's not just cars they can turn into. Uh they can turn Anything, into Anything, car, plane, bike. Whatever. <laughs> not Megatron in the first uh back in the eighties. That's when it all started. Megatron actually turns into a handheld gun. Seriously? Yeah. You sure you didn't want to show all called Mad? There was a show of Mad on, on, on I, I, I'm not kidding. You can Google what uh what he did. You just Google what did Megatron turn into in the first Transformers cartoon, G1. And then bang, it's gonna give you that answer. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm better on nothing about it. Yeah, but like, that's the thing with guns and everything, so... When you do shit like that, it's really like... And plus, I know he did get into... He got banned in New Jersey. His toy did, Megatron, because, you know... Yeah, I think... You know why they banned him? They think kids... They, they, they think that a gun... Playing with guns is good, but in reality, they're bad. Yeah. Even, I'm, even I'm like, I look up guns... Sometimes, but I don't want to show young kids to play with guns. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a toy or not. You can't bring it to school. Like, I was actually scared going to school because every, like, every month or every few months, there was always some sort of incident. Literally, me and my brother stopped playing with Nerf. Uh, Nerf, I think Nerf is a different story. At least Nerf don't show real guns. Some, some of their guns are not like real listed. Like, like AK-47 or M16 or M4 or any type of gun. They're just, they're just guns with, with some Nerf. You, you load it. Yeah. I mean, so I don't think Nerf not that far it used to be. 
after what's going on in the world, you know, all these incidents at schools, you just don't know, from fights to shootings, you fucking name it, it's there. Yeah, well, a lot of people on the news that blame, blame the creator, blame the game, blame, blame the gaming world. We need blame to blame the, the person responsible. Blame the bloody parents. Some of the parents are irresponsible, allow them to blame their, blame their toy gun or talk about guns in school. Or complete mess up in the head. Actually, besides Nurka, Nurka you can play only on, but right, you know, you can, when the school right, you can play toys in school. You know what I mean? That was back in the day, but now you can't do that anymore. Well, anyway, the world we live in right now, it's just different now. And besides, like you say, yeah, Nerf, Nerf is not that fun. It used to be ever since this whole... Yeah, me and my time. brother stopped uh, playing with it. I stopped playing that a long time ago when I hit... When I hit... When I turned 8 gray. I stopped. That's when I stopped. That's really funny. Yeah. I mean, I used to, I used to play with Nerf gun a lot of time. I finally found more fun. But now I got... I got over it and I was playing... Well, I don't want to talk about going around, around with my, with my little kid in my little brother and sister. Dude, sisters. you don't have any little kids here, because, you know, that's the thing. I don't really tend to see for I'm it. Not, I'm not there now. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Finally, I got this case. Fuck you. Fuck you. Anyway, back to the topic. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't like how, how they do it now. I mean, yeah, I know gun is bad, yeah, 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 but come on, talk about that in school, and then next thing you came in, and then you go gun plays, killing, and boom, and teacher, and student, that's real fuck up. Yeah, you gotta admit, I mean, teachers, I mean, some kids, some teachers take it take way too far, and I mean, way too far that they send the kid to the office. Yeah, and not to mention the whole school shootout since back in 2018. We are most grateful to you yeah. for defeating the plague. And then there are more shootouts over the world, and then Merciful more Muda, people in America think that we're at war because, be because you play in war right now, like Russia. Serious vacation. Who knew the life of a monk could be We have nothing to do about it. Hmm. Please bring this oh, bottle of pure water to Jesus. the high monk Tanya. And also, not to mention the palace. About with Fortnite and Roblox, no game will be top here. But I think, hold on, yeah? <clears throat> You're up there, yeah? Alright. Well, I see, I see that you've been pushing yourself for a week. I'll be right back. Knock yourself out. He's right there, so shut up. Ah, a vial of pure water. It was a mistake to assume the waters would remain pure while his Imperial Majesty is ill. Thank you, wizard. We have what we need to cure his imperial majesty's mind and spirit. But to heal his body, we will require fruit from the mystical tree of life. Just like the oni possessed warlord Katsumori and polluted the waters of Mushu, the death oni has twisted the tree of life. Even with all my wisdom, I can't prepare you for what you will face. I urge you to speak with Samurai Hideo Kebo a regarded elder at Yoshihito Temple. He will be able to guide you to the Tree of Life. May the Muda watch over you. Fuck yeah. I'm back. Hey, Rolf, tell my brother how important I am. I still can. Ed, boys! Oh, run away! No, that's my line. 
Uh, you're, you're Rolf. Oh shit. Do it again. Hey Rolf! Tell my brother how important I am. I forget. Ad boys. Come back, chicken thief! That's why I would never steal from Rolf because of what happened. Oh, I would say you should never go on the wrong side with Rolf. Hey man, I'd never fuck with that guy, man. Never. Hey, only you want him to chase you with, with, with what? a rape or what about pointing? That was a rake. You know, you were right. You were right. That was a rake. That only in that episode with the Ed Wolf. I met the other episode where you know with Ed skinned that with your yum yum, and you see Ed Wolf killing the spike the one big that they have. Yeah. Oh shit. This is the wrong fucking way. Holy crap. But you gotta admit, that shit is fucked up. Oh yeah, so, so I started to the episode where, where they did a Johnny house. <laughs> John, I, I'm not, in your honest opinion, did Johnny deserve it, yes or no? Uh, only a little bit. I, I mean... <clears throat> sorry. I mean, where's Johnny gonna live after that? I mean, I don't even know if Johnny even has a family, because that's my question. Actually, he do have a family. But he never it's talks Johnny. about them. Yeah, but I mean, let's see. Dad talked about his mom, and Jimmy talked about his, his dad once. Sarah talked about his mom a lot, and dad too, but talked about his dad sometimes. And it was a while. Well, Yeah, that's like another word for grandma. And also, Kevin talked about his dad. But I do, I do heard that Kevin don't get along with his mother. Oh, shit, dude. And let's see. And Eddie talked about his mom and his dad sometimes. And Doji, however, he we all know that he more Kevin talk her a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Johnny never talked about his parents that much. He never talked about him at all. Yeah, only he did. Like this, like that. It's all about that stupid hunk of wood. Yeah, well, at least... At least Plank and John... Well, Plank got something what he deserved now. I think that thing is taking over Johnny's life. If I was Johnny's mom, I would literally put that kid in some type of therapy. Yeah, well, you're right to catch a point. You see how Johnny is, he's gone insane in the end of the movie. Yeah, because I think if Double D is right, he does have some sort of social phobia. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. I got, I know it's it a long time ago, but I got a weird question. What? Where, how the heck does everybody know what Eddie, Eddie getting to? You mean from the big picture show? Huh? You mean from the yeah, big pic- Where, how the heck, every, how the hell everybody know where- I don't know, but that's a really good question because when I was a little kid, I literally was like, "Where the fuck did they know where everybody is he Eddie heading on?" What? Yeah, how? What, how the hell do they know where they heading to? I mean, I mean, can we know where Eddie? Can we know that Eddie Eddie going to his brother place, but not Sarah? Did I know about her and? I just, I just sound to uh, believe that they fall in love with her snitch. Is all that stands against only and also, evil I, was, uh, I have faced the death only well, many Ron, times. We all know that Ron, but I've never defeated it. This time, the death only has fortified and itself by the tree of life. How the heck did you know that? Spirit, to to anyway. cross the cursed river that separates us from him. Yeah. No evil spirit I mean, will go quietly. So we need a legendary spirit the, cage where, to control it. Where, where, where I wish there were another way. Until, Believe until me. Eddie I must want to free spirits from the control of the Death Oni. 
But you can go to the ancient burial ground and retrieve a cage. That's kind of weird. And what I was on. Actually, that's pretty much it. It's because so far I know Sarah and Jimmy know where they're heading to by thanking Wilfer. And. Wilfred's only a pig. He's only a pig. He can't talk like a normal person would. Uh, yeah. I didn't say he can talk. I did tell that he he smell. They're stench. Oh yeah, Mike. Remember we were watching Boo Ha Ha, and um, you know, remember you asked me when um Rolf would remember because uh. I forgot. Remind me what Ed did to Rolf that kind of made him fall in the river. Oh yeah, about that he that he fell down to the river and it disappeared. Yeah. And why Wilford too? Yeah. Mike, 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 Mike. My question is, I mean, why does you remember? Cause you asked me, cause he uh, fell in the river, and you're like, why does he follow him around like a dog? I don't know either. I mean, I think Wilford and Rolf have the same. Thing bonding, but until the movie, yeah, Wilfer, Wilfer's past snap. What do you mean snap? I did say snap. Yeah, what do you mean, like? And then at the end, Wilfer attacked Rolf. Oh my God! Yeah, it, sorry, it's been really a long time since I've seen the uh... the movie. Yes. I saw it. I saw it twice. I've only seen it three times in a row, so please don't even. I do miss the movie, but also <laughs> I forgot. I did not know that. Did Rob ever abuse Wilford before? I don't think so. I mean that. Is, I mean, if he did, that would be known as animal cruelty. I mean, one minute Rob is yelling at Wilford, and he's sad, and then, and then. We saw what what Wolf doing, right? He had to shoot and then he went to slap Wilford and Wilford just started talking and then and he starts snapping and then Remember in that Urban Ed episode, um he basically he's like uh, um he's on the ground and he's running around sitting like a uh, and he's running around in circles. Yeah. And he's like I hated what Sarah said though. She's like, "Hey, keep it down, or I'm calling the cops." I'm like, "Can I hit you?" Oh with yeah, I saw that episode yesterday. I'd love to hit her with a five iron. Huh. Yeah. Anyway, Greetings, young wizard. Yeah. Magic a with you. You burn like the brightest beacon to these. And then walk, walk around with that thing on his head. You are on a mission. Oh, you know. Yeah. From my descendants, Hideo Kay. Anyway, you think you think will forever get hurt by Wolf? Do not wonder how I know. It is puzzling enough what brings me here after my death. Yeah, I don't think Wolf is not an animal abuse or something like that. Taking control of many in this graveyard. But if you've come to defeat him, I mean, yeah, I'm listening. I don't time, think Wolf is not a type of animal abuse animal. Cage. Read the inscription on I don't the grave of the eldest, and you may discover where <laughs> in the cage. I don't. I, mean, I see how Wolf's taking care of it. Took care of Chicken, Cow, and Wilfer, and Victor. Chicken. Yeah, I did say that. No, I got um, it. It's the quote. Chicken. chicken. Remember, cause they're chasing the balloon. Yeah. Chicken. Chicken. No, remember because like they all Ed says it. I forgot. Remind me. It goes like this: chicken, pig, cow, and then Rolf's. Uh, let's do oh, it from the top. Up, up, and up, up, and Ed away. Yeah, chicken. Pig. Cow. Mama, I can't afford Rolf. <laughs> anyway. I see Wolf taking care of all his animal. Not a single take, not a single abuse to to the animal. Yeah. I think, I think Wolf have been been a little asleep, 
been assigned to Wolf. And again, and again, that, the, that was the first time Wolf or Ron sat fast in the movie, in the episode where Ed went Rolf had homesick. You gotta admit, I feel sorry for Rolf. I mean, he, he, was, he was born and raised in the in his old, in the old country, and then he's been taken to America. You gotta admit, I which, feel sorry for the dude. But no one understands by his culture. I do. I feel bad for him. But I said, I said, Doji and and Ed. I mean, you see how they get along with Wolf Coulter? Yeah. Well, I would say Wolf. No, I would say Ed get along with Wolf more than um, yeah. Doji. Doji did the uh, reading and understand about his culture. Yeah. Ed did get along, get along with him. Victor's hooves are magical. I and mean, I'm like, what? The inscription is incomplete. Oh, oh yeah, that was right. Yeah, so the other episode where those when they try to wipe them off the movie. the first part of a clue. Yeah. The second brother no more talking. went to the training uh. dojo to meditate. Mm. Search the training dojo. I say quiet. No Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. That was not the first one. Shut up. Sit <laughs> down. That I say quiet. You have to admit, and just say you shut up. I've... Eddie, please. Ed's having a bad day. Oh, I was talking about the other episode where when Ed had told Dodi and Ed to shut up and sit down. Yeah, Ed's a wuss. Wait, no. Abigail, Abigail, you know what? In Jen Einstein. Shut up. You shut up. <laughs> <laughs> A grumpled forehead. I'll give you three to get over yourself. One, two, smile, you say, miserable. You wanted to say, you wanted that one. You were supposed to say like that. One, smile, you, smile, you, you, two, sat down and you bit. You torment me! I'm oh. hurt now. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Also, I love the part when the Ed, Eddie just slipped out of the chair and then rolls the snack tape. Sit down, my boy! Yeah. That, that was funny. You know, if I, if I see you slip down the chair, I'll take it. Sit down, Ellie! <laughs> I'm so glad that Rolf did not say again. I mean, it'd be funny if after all Eddie took again. Yeah. But I did look up, I looked up other part when I'm missing, you know, with, uh, yeah. with Kevin part. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, only a little bit. Later on, I'm gonna have Taco Bell for dinner. I'm gonna have those nacho fries. <laughs> Joke on you, I only had taco today with burrito. You didn't have the nacho fries from Taco Bell, bro? Come on! Man, nah, I did before I have burrito, okay? Dude, they're so good! I know that. It's a crispy quick, fry with, with, not, with cheese dip on it. I know that, okay? You think you think I don't know about it? I guess I'm my mother. My mother, my mother paid for it. You know that. Dude, my mom just brings it home. Like yesterday, she brought home like Subway. Yeah. I'm oh. sorry, I wanna, I want the, I don't want, I don't want my mother, my mother spoiling me that much. Okay, I did, I did have one burrito. That it. And same thing to my farm too. Okay. Oh, I know, homie. I know. Plus. And besides, no. and besides, I'm only a chump for the way I am right now. Yeah, and I'm pretty upset about Monday. I hate Monday. Yeah, tell me about it. No, because it's my godfather's birthday. Uh, uh never mind. He would have been 49. Yeah. Track it, right? Yeah. I cannot believe next week is, it's Ferris. The worst month of the, of the year. Christ. Yeah. I think 
they want to get get this month over and then next month when next next month is March. You can just say the following. Yeah, well, at least I can enjoy some anime I'm gonna be watching. Yeah. And also, I can't wait to be watching the the anime spectrum. Oh, Ed, it's me, May Caker. Won't you be my Valentine? That's not funny, Eddie. Dad, what are you scared of? Girls don't bite, stupid. They'll just. Actually, they'll slowly say, just nag you to death. I would, say, I would say girls do bite sometimes. Well, that's. Well, not you. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, some of the females, they can bite. If you like. You walk into a war and then next thing you might get you might get shot or you might get you might get terminate terminate or interrogation. Yeah. Oh you don't know. She like she like women are something to be very scary. Yeah. And I was like kind of trying to meet up with guys but you know might be chill. So what do you want me to do? No, it's from the... God damn it, did you forget it's from Venom? Oh, yeah. Well, sorry, I was, I was talking something, and you, you bring up the, the line, the quote, boy. Well, you on my ass. So what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> and then the SWAT like, team comes out. Like I say, at least not all of you are, are not that trustworthy. At least the only part... I, I can trust few of them. Well, a couple of them I can trust. And you're one of them. Yeah. At least, at least I can trust you the most. Yeah. And the other two. I'm so gonna kick well, your ass at pool yeah. table when we meet. <laughs> yeah, and I was a let me uh, I kick your ass in the game again. Like, go freaking bowling. Oh, you wanna fucking go there? How about some Uno, bitch? Now you mean my language. <sighs> I'm gonna get you, but uh, what Uno do you prefer? Because there is regular and then there's the flip side. Oh, no, 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 not neither of them. We can play it my way. Uh, it's, it's my way or highway? Oh, I was just gonna ask because there's two. Um, or what Eddie said, or in any way, at 25 cent or 25 cent in that prison. At 25 days in the pokey. Oh, why are you afraid that? At 25 cent or 25 day in a bully. Wrong cartoon, honey. <laughs> so like your dad or or a highway to hell, Howie? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bro, I will kick your ass. Oh yeah, name one thing you kick my ass. Name one thing. That tree contest in back in middle school? I'll kick your ass any day, but uh I can't really do yoga anymore. Yeah, I and mean, then main main couple main few things that I kick your ass in the game. Oh you, you sick fuck man! Yeah, remind me. Come on, come on. Uno, goldfish, and I think basketball. And you've got one more thing. I, uh. It's outside the school. We hung out one time. Oh, yeah, bowling. Fuck. Yeah. I was gonna. Now you mentioned it. I wouldn't. I don't know. We used to play oh, basketball together. Scaring someone. Yeah. We must be on the right track. I thought our team was one for one. The first two inscriptions we had two teams. together. Huh? The portal to the spirit world. No one living can enter. It was strong it was you, me, and the team, right? Have stolen yeah, the and you had, don't the forget we had Amanda too. No power. Yeah. But how I is it what, the brothers the never told me about again? the logs? There must be more. One for one. A third inscription. A puzzle indeed. After all, I was the one who came it. Perhaps. The youngest brother I don't know, of the man. monsters at the back of this graveyard. Now, well, Tom I'm going off. Later, there. bro. Homer, you're fired! Find the last is meant to burn for me. I Fuck you. I'm eager to solve this puzzle. Later, Howie. Fuck you. Later, man. Is it the 
frenzied grounds. in your heart is about to be disturbed, wizard.
it's now seven. <clears throat> Walk around them. Understand now, you have done your job well, young wizard. I am shamed to admit that it took so long for me to do my part. You have completed the brother's inscription, which is actually a guide for the living to find the spirit cage. You will first need the spirit torch to light the way. That is, you will need it to light the summoning candles that open the portal to the spirit world. In my time, a fire elemental protected the spirit torch from the unworthy. I suspect that nothing has changed. 